Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to take a look at some options to back up your iOS devices. Now, with the upcoming iOS 9, I thought I would do a series on some of the things that can prepare you uh, for the update uh, to the next operating system. And one of those things that uh, I wanted to cover was backing up your iPhone. Now, one of the beauties of having an iPhone is that you can uh, have a complete backup of your phone in iCloud, which is great. Uh, allows for that nice, simple uh, update to happen there. Uh, you can also do the backup in iTunes as well. And so there's a couple of options that are already built in. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to cover this week was what if you wanted to take things off your iPhone and archive them on your Mac? And things like text messages or your voicemail or your call logs, those sorts of things. And so I wanted to cover that today and take a look at an app that does that for you called PhoneView. Now, PhoneView is an application by Ecamm Software for your Mac. And what it does is it allows you to archive uh, your text messages, uh, basically anything on your phone you, you are able to archive. And it will uh, make a backup of those things. Now, now, the beauty of it is it'll make that backup, and you'll be able to view it uh, even when your phone is not connected to your Mac. So it really is a great application. Uh, you can see here it's $29.95 uh, for the application. And again, it just gives you some, uh, you know, some nice ways to be able to view your information and track it and be able to save it. So uh, that's, uh, again, Phone View by Ecamm. So let me just show you what that looks like. I'm going to put this down here. And what I've done is I've launched the application without my phone plugged in. And as you can see here, this is the phone view interface right here. And very simple. You can see my no device is connected. Uh, but I have already archived my iPhone. And so if I just come up here to archives and I just click on this, you can see that I can view a message archive, call log, or voicemail archive. Uh, and I can also manage my archives. Uh, so let me just uh, take a look at uh, the message archive for a second. And so what you get is this nice window. Now notice my phone is not connected, and yet I still have access to all of my text messages. And you can see here, here's one between uh, me and my son here. And so uh, PhoneView does a nice job of just displaying uh, the text message in, in a way that you might view it on your Mac. And it allows you to do several things with it. Uh, I can actually, if I click on this, I can save the messages. I can save it as a PDF file or a text file or even a CSV file if I wanted to have it done that way and stuck in Numbers or Excel. And so it gives me some options there. And so let me just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And it's going to create a PDF. Let me just drag this PDF down here. You can see it down there. And I'm just going to hit the space bar to show you what it looks like. And so there you go. There's the nice PDF of my text uh, message string there. It also gives me the date on when the text messages happen and the time. And so it would allow you then to be able to archive those text messages so that you always have them. So this is a really nice application for doing that. Uh, let me just drag this down to the trash here and get rid of that. And you can also print your messages from here and send it right to your printer, or you can delete them from the archive. And again, it has support for multiple devices, so it knows which device is there. I'm just going to close this. Now, you can do the same thing with your call log and your voicemail archives, uh, which is really nice. Uh, and you can also manage your various archives. And so, again, if you had more than one device here, you could remove archives or manage them the way you want to. I'm just going to get rid of that. Now, another thing it lets you do is you can also back up those same things to iTunes if you wanted to. So uh, view message iTunes backup or call log iTunes backups, that kind of thing. So if you wanted to put them in there, you could as well. And now before I actually connect my device, let me just show you the settings real quick. Um, again, you can uh, launch phone view when your device is uh, attached so that it would automatically come up every time you connect to your phone uh, or your iPad or whatever iOS device you have. Uh, you can show the entire disk in disk mode. Uh, and that provides access to devices, uh, the device's media folder. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, also, you can go to uh, photos mode to show all photos from your bursts instead of just the one that it creates. And again, you can, you can export message threads as individual files or one big document. You can use modern text for the message mode. Um, you know, you've got some emoji symbol conversions. And then again, here's where you can say clicking or dragging, uh, double clicking or dragging, how do you want it to be saved? And you can pick the file type. And then the message mode, and it will not only do messages, but uh, WhatsApp messages as well. So again, that just kind of gives you an idea. So what I'm going to do is plug in my iPhone, and let's take a look at what it looks like once I've done that. 
Okay, here we are in phone view. Once my phone has been plugged in, you can see that my iPhone has been connected. Now everything has sort of dropped down here. And you notice I've got a data area and a media area on the side here. Now I'm in disk mode. And so this would allow me to copy information onto my phone and actually use it as a hard drive if I wanted to transport uh, information. Uh, so it does allow you to do that as well. I can copy things to the iPhone just by clicking on this and I get the drop down that allows me to select the files and things that I want to use for that. I'm just going to cancel here. Uh, I can view my contacts. I can view my notes, my call log messages. Uh, again, I can view the uh, you know web information for websites that I've been looking at, uh, my voicemail. Uh, again, I can view my apps, and here's my applications. And it will show me the content in these apps. So for instance, here is the database for this particular uh, task application. It has all the various databases that are in there that are backed up. And so I can use that for looking at my applications and the data that's inside of them. Uh, let's go to PDF Pen. You can see I've got an inbox here where I can then go ahead and add things into this application if I needed to. So again, it just gives you a way to kind of look at your apps and see uh, what's in there um, and let you know what's on those as well. And you can copy from your iPhone any information you want to uh, to a new location or copy info to your iPhone. Uh, it also lets you uh, take a look at your media, like music and videos uh, as well, so that you can back those uh, those things up and add them to your uh, you know add them to your desktop if you wanted to do that for books, podcasts, ringtones, uh, your photos. It lets you look at the photos on your device as well. So if you wanted a quick way to maybe uh, download just the videos and things on your phone, maybe you're not using the iCloud. Uh, library and so you want to just transfer that information you can do that as well uh, in, a, in a real simple way it'll make it work so again let me if I just click on ringtones you can see here to load various ringtones that I've got and you can see it's uh, accessing my phone uh, to be able to do that and so again I don't have any ringtones I created but if I had any in here I could then hit play and and listen to them and get a feel for how that uh, how that works the same is true with my voicemail as well uh, on there. And so again, here's some podcasts. If I click on that, again, I don't have any podcasts in there. I can do the same thing with books. And so these are just different books that I have uh, that are sitting on my iPhone. So it kind of lets me know what's there uh, in that area. And so again, it just gives a nice, uh, a nice backup uh, for the information that I've got. If I want to make that stuff uh, happen, I want to get that stuff off my phone. And then again, voice memos. You can see I had one there and then I can listen to that voice memo if I want to. So that kind of gives you an idea of how PhoneView works. And like I said, it really is a great application for backing up your iPhone and really backing up those things that we're usually afraid to lose, especially if we're going to wipe the device and start over, things like our, our uh, text messages or our voicemails and those sorts of things. And so it's just a great way to be uh, reassured that you've got that stuff there and allows you to work with it much easier. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.